welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought let's get a little inspiration. I remember when I first started as a stylist, I will always go on Google and look up people whose style I really love and just see like, you know, who's their stylist? I would love to know. Maybe I'd like to intern with them. Maybe I want to be a celebrity stylist. And so I thought today, let's dig a little deeper and find out who the heck Kim Kardashian stylist actually is. So let's Google search. Okay, so when I would do a little bit of research back in the day and I wanted to find a stylist, even sometimes now, you know, I really want to see like who's changed stylists and how their style has evolved. And so what I do is I literally just type in like this, who is Kim Kardashian stylist? And I go down and I just go through a rabbit hole. So here it says her name is actually Danielle Levy. And I found this one article here and it says a lot of information about her and it's also like an interview style. So let's just go ahead and look through the interview style, see how she got started, see how she ended up being Kim Kardashian's stylist, where she's from, her mindset, and all the different things that it takes in order to become a successful stylist. So it says, what is your styling process and approach like? She says, I'm constantly on the lookout for vibes and stuff we like, always shopping so it doesn't end up being for specific things. We're just constant and always evolving, getting into new ideas. Then when events come up, we plug what we already have working with into the event. So that's a great tip because a lot of times when we're going out and we're trying to shop, we are looking for something in particular. And you know, whenever you go to the mall to look for something specific, you can never find it. But when you're literally just going to the mall just to look around, you see everything you want. So outside of just celebrity styling, this is a great tip because sometimes you just need to get some stuff, you know, don't binge and just buy all the time, but it's good to have pieces in your wardrobe so that you're never panicking when something does come up and there's an event. So that's a great tip. But let's find out really how she got started and things like that, because that's pretty much what many aspiring stylists are wanting to know. But here's something, is there anything that you can call to mind specifically like a certain piece of artwork or song or anything that has really inspired an outfit or a look? It says we work and create custom everything. We just like to be different. With Balenciaga, we love Demna. Vibes so much that it's easy to do off the rack with him. But they customize things for us too, so the clothes are more special. We really like things to be more original than what's already out. And that makes sense because, I mean, Kim's like the, what is it, like number one person searched in the world, so that makes sense. So it says, what has that been like integrating the Balenciaga partnership? Okay, we don't need to really talk about that. Now, are there any other brands? Let's keep skimming. I love this photo of them together. It's so cute. <clears throat> Let's find out more about Danielle, because we know about Kim. Okay, who would you say are some of your style icons? Number one, I will always say Kanye West. He's my favorite. Next, I would say, oh, okay, Corinne Redfield. Her vibe got me into styling. Okay, so boom, we have someone who actually was very monumental in her life who got her into wardrobe styling it says everything i saw that she was doing is really what made me want to be a stylist she didn't use clothes to create the vibe she kind of was the vibe and she brought that into the clothes i saw how personal styling could be that impressed me so much and that made me look into what a stylist was when i saw what she was doing at gucci with Tom and Vogue Paris, that's when I really started to love this world and be like, wow, this is like an art. This is way bigger than fashion. This is creativity. It was just something so new and so fresh for me. So she's always at the top. So in my mind, once I read this, I'm thinking like, okay, one, who is you know, Korea? If you don't know who that is, I would definitely do some diving and research in that. So I have done that for you here. But before we look into that, I also wanted to say how she realized in that moment when she saw Corinne, 
that when she saw Karen, sorry, when she saw Karen, that she was someone monumental for her to actually create this as a career. It's bigger than her. It's bigger than fashion. It's actually using your creativity. And I love that she says that because you really want to think about what is it? What was the one thing that got you wanting to be a stylist? Why did you actually want to be a stylist? What was it? And so I love that she has that here. And so let's dive into Karen. Karen definitely is a vibe. I mean, but all the things that she has on here is definitely more into her field, which she's an editor. So if you didn't know that, I would dive deeper into that. Who is Karen? So let's dive in. Karen is a French fashion editor, former fashion model and writer. She is the former editor in chief of Vogue Paris. So that is very, very important to know because she has someone in mind that she really, really admired and realized that as an editor, you can also be a stylist. You're picking these clothes. You're picking a lot of things that's going into your wardrobe. And so as for Danielle, she really studied her. Obviously, she studied the heck out of her to get to where she is now. But I'm sure she did a lot of other things along the way in regards to just finding one person who she admired. So it says, who are some of your dream clients to work with? Honestly, I'm so blessed that I've worked with all my dream clients. For me, it's always been Rihanna, Kanye, Kim. Those are my favorite style onk icons ever. And who I think about when I get dressed. I feel really blessed to be able to say that. It says, what are some of your current projects? She says, I'm working with Kim on some projects that I can't talk about. There's really cool, they're really cool and I'm really excited. It's never, uh, it's, it's never, I'm sorry, I'm having a little cold guys. It's never monotone, never boring. Everything is getting bigger and bigger. Every time I think she's reached the top, she goes even further and she does stuff that is unpredictable. I'm really excited because it's going to be next level. So that's cool. Let's see. What are some goals that you have for the future? Is there anything down the line that you would love to do? I would love to design. I would love to talk about that. A lot of times people think that stylists are designers. Now some stylists do design, but nine times out of 10, we're the ones creating and putting the outfits together. We're not making sketches all the time sometimes we do we're not actually crafting the wardrobe in regards to patterns and things like that we are putting a look together so that's that's cool this article is cool but it's definitely not really giving me everything that i need in regards to how she got started like i want to know more about her deeper more personal so let's see here's an article that i found on forbes and it says global creative artist Danielle Levy on personal style and never doing it for the gram. Ooh, let's dive into this. Okay, it says as Kim Kardashian stylist Danielle Levy knows the importance of crafting a personal image and creating buzz with every look. For someone like Kim, who, whose influence on fashion and pop culture knows no bounds as a trendsetter. It's ironic that Levy's original story stems from her feeling like an outsider while growing up in Los Angeles. Okay, so it says she grew up in Jerusalem. So I was physically surrounded by fashion. She says, when I moved to America as a teen, high school was a culture shock. I was wearing modest baggy linen clothes and everyone was dressed in Abercrombie. I didn't fit in at all. I felt like an outside or an outcast and just wanted to connect with the other kids and feel like I belonged. So I started to study fashion, read magazines, and watch more music videos. Eventually, this became my career. So clearly, she actually studied the heck out of what she loved. Like, she just watched it all the time. I feel like that's something so important to know because a lot of times we are like, oh, we want to do this, but we're not really researching and seeing like how these people got started or what actually it is that they study. And she's saying that she literally just studied watching over and over again styles and the artists and the people that she wanted to work with. So that's dope. Okay, it says, I thought that if I dressed different and expressed myself, people would be interested in connecting with me. 
To this day, I dress and style others with intention, how I'm feeling and what type of attention we want to attract. As a personal stylist, you are working with people at their most vulnerable, intimate, moments in their lives you know a lot of times they may be self-conscious about certain things personally may be going through things and so you really need to tap in and understand your client before you do wardrobe styling and i love that she says it's all about intention intention is everything i also want to note it says when when it comes to kim kardashian style levy crafts every look with meticulous care along with kardashian and to say they attract attention is an understatement. The truth is fashion and personal style is something everyone can cultivate and it's an art form that can leave an impression on those in your orbit. Style is a first impression. It's how you'll be judged before you even speak. Never underrate the value of this. It should reach the max level of expressing who you are and where you want to be. That is so important. It's part of expressing your authentic self. After school, Levy wanted to pursue the freedom that style offered her as a career. I wanted to find a way to allow people to connect in a way that I wanted so badly because I struggled with that. When I style, I can be myself and put looks together and create vibes that other girls are influenced by which they can feel cool and express themselves, I feel proud. It says then she ended up heading to Italy to study, which helped shape the path she took in fashion by inspiring her to pursue her styling versus design. So she actually styled, she actually studied styling rather than style, I mean, rather than design which is what we kind of talked about a little bit, the difference between styling and designing. Studying fashion design in Italy taught her what she didn't want to do, facts. I'm telling you, these patterns and doing all that kind of stuff, it's a lot, y'all. Like, uh uh <laughs> It says, after college, she started working as a stylist intern, basically to every celebrity stylist. And yes, styling a celebrity, is something where you need relationships they need to be able to trust you before you can even get your foot wet or this is why you can really tell that mindset has everything to do with getting started like you really have to have your mindset intact and know like this is what i'm going to do and i'm going to do whatever it takes intern you can intern to get started a celebrity styling with celebrity styling interning is key like you have to trust the people that you're going to work with. And that's how these celebrities think. You have to get your foot in the door by having the right relationships. Personal styling, celebrity styling, it's all about relationships. And so that's why you really need to intern when it comes to celebrity styling or working with productions or working with, you know, music videos and artists. Like you have to put yourself out there and you have to just get your feet wet. Celebrity styling is definitely a lot different than just personal styling an everyday person because you're literally like living with them. You're with them 24 seven, it seems like, if you're like touring and all those things and it's a lot. Eventually, she got to style with Rihanna's team. She styled Rihanna at an interview magazine and that took place in LA. And then she assisted for two years. She got her feet wet, y'all. She made the relationship with the big brand, the big names, and her career took off. It was connections. It was focus. She was in school. She made relationships there. She made relationships to intern and assist. She stuck with it. She fought. She, she continued to grow. She left Jerusalem, went to Italy, went to LA. Like she was making moves, y'all. She knew what she wanted to do and she stuck with it. She said, I couldn't believe how people felt i couldn't understand how people look so fresh and well, i was about to say so fresh and so clean i couldn't <laughs> believe and understand how people look so fresh on the screen but in reality no one dressed like that the truth is i wasn't into reality i wanted to be a part of the dream come on sis and creating a dream is exactly what she did okay we did talk about the way she likes to style 
Levy's advice for the woman who wants to reinvent her fashion style. Be you to the fullest. Find what you love. What makes you different and amplify that. As for taking on a new look or adopting a style, she says the first step is to consider your favorite things in life, colors, vibes, designers, characters, and to shop from that place. This way you own pieces that you are authentically, really, really authentically connected with. That's what that means. So you don't get lost in the sauce looking like everybody else. As soon as you have key pieces that are different and represent you, you can add in basics that are good for your body type and play. So she actually kept her Instagram account private. I didn't want to read comments from other people. At first, I disable comments. <clears throat> that makes sense because freaking trolls, are they out here, y'all. My Instagram feed reflects what is inside of my mind and what my mind looks like. As for her keys to pursuing your dream career, only take advice from people who you who are where you want to be. I also feel like people's goals are usually material things like getting that house, their favorite car or status. But I've seen people reach those levels and still feel unfulfilled. So I'd say focus on your goals of being at peace instead. The first steps to this are your small habits, like how you spend your mornings, how you talk to yourself, who you follow on Instagram, what you read, what you watch, who you share your energy with, and who has access to you. Also, there's so much jealousy when you're coming up. So a huge part of getting to the top is to never do the envy or insecurity stuff. Always be the hustler, well-wisher, the go-getter, minding where your energy goes and doing your best to be the greatest because all abundance starts first in your mind. The mindset, y'all. Between Levy's talent and vision, it's clear that her runway of opportunity has no limits. Let's check out her Instagram. Her page is so dope. I love how it's just like aesthetically glowing and I just love her vibe. She definitely gives me Kanye vibes with these you know, graphics and different things like that. But I, I'm obsessed with her style. It's just very clean and very, it's just a new era for Kim. And I love that. She's just so business savvy and she got her shit together and she's out here killing it. And I just love the fact that she's keeping it clean and she's also just being who she is. And that's one thing that I admire about her. And that's another reason why I really wanted to dive deep into who her stylist actually was. Okay, so let's look at some of my favorite looks from hers because she has some really dope pieces. And I actually love her social media as well because she shows like she has very abstract thoughts. Like she loves architecture. She loves that like alien type vibe. And one thing I will say is I do notice that not just this stylist, but oftentimes as a stylist, your client kind of resembles, you know, yourself. Like the client ends up looking like the stylist. Like a lot of photos that I see, I'm just like, huh, huh. And I felt the same way with Monica Rose as well. But what I will say is they have a great, what I will say is they do a great job at making sure that the styles are also, you know, the client. Like as far as Kim and Monica, Monica still made sure that she was to her, you know what I mean? Like the styles always fitted her perfectly. And of course that comes with alterations and tailoring and all that. But even in regards to when she's working with her new stylist, Danielle, the blonde hair and things like that, they still have their, their, you know, you know that it's them, but they definitely have very, very big influence on the client style. So that's something to also look at when you're personal styling. Like sometimes your client may look like you. So thank you for watching this video. I'm so glad that you're here with me. If you want more videos like this, let me know. I love researching and finding stylists who have done great work and who I admire and 
how we can see that their mindset and their mission is just more in line usually than the than the fashion itself like they really really take into account their intention behind why they do the work that they do and their their passion and love really for helping people and having just such a creative mindset and like i said when i started i i just knew that i love helping people through style i love helping people feel good and be them their best self and show up as their best self and i love that i love being able to see the stories behind it and understanding why people chose the path that they chose and how it's benefited them by following their creativity and following their heart and their passion and so i hope that you decide to do the same i'll see you next time bye love you guys Thank you.